to start. Good morning, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. I thought I would share a day in the life of me, a work at home dad and software developer. So my day starts around 5.45am. I get up, get dressed and sit on the bottom step of our stairs and have a banana. Yeah, 5.45am. With my banana eaten, it's time to go. So a bit of transition magic. I move myself into my car. I move my car from my drive to the gym. I've only taken my phone with me and not my camera, so the quality is reduced. But hopefully you can make it at McDonald's and tempt me every morning that I head to the gym. To start my workout, I do a little bit of cardio on the treadmill to get me warmed up. This morning was very short in particular. I decided to put the speed up to 15 km an hour. I managed a 1k run and there's no way I was going any further. I blame the camera for inflating my ego on this. With my run done, it's time to move on to the good bit. So today's Wednesday, which means it's leg day. I start with back squats. Three sets of eight reps at 100 kilograms. Not the most flattering angle for this, is it? After back squats, I move on to clean and press with a 40 kilogram bar. I did another three sets of eight reps on this. Now on to one of my favourite exercises, the leg press. This morning I went for a new personal best. I loaded up with 150 kilograms, which on top of the starting weight of 62 kilograms gives me a total of 212. I managed three sets of 10 reps on this. I think I can go for more. Up next is leg extensions. Three sets of 12 reps of 76 kilograms. And then this is followed by seated leg curls. Three sets of 12 reps at 93 kilograms. I like to finish all of my workouts with a bit of arms. So using 15 kilogram dumbbells, I do supersets of alternating bicep and then hammer curls. 10 reps on each arm of each exercise for three sets. And with that, I'm done. So back to the car where I need a moment to not throw up or pass out. Then, once I'm ready, I go home. When I get home, it's straight to the living room to see Jarvis. And of course get some doggy cuddles. Then it's time for his breakfast and for me to have a shower. Then, when I'm showered and dried, it's time to get dressed. In the dark, as Danielle is most likely still sleeping. Can't forget some deodorant, aftershave, and a bit of SPF moisturiser. Not long later, it's time for my favourite part of the day. <laughs> some sleepy morning cuddles with Thea. <laughs> Of course, she is too keen to get her day started, so off we go. We send Jarvis upstairs to get Danielle up, and we read some books. Thea's current favourite thing. Now, usually I'd have oats or cereal in the morning, but today Thea asked for pancakes, and who am I say to say no to pancakes? It's not my best batch. They were surprisingly extra tall and fluffy, but they'll certainly do. Now, paired with my first coffee of the day, and just a splash of milk, I think we're on to a winner of a breakfast here. As breakfast took a while to make, I ate it at my desk instead of with my family this morning. My office is in our garage conversion, and this is my setup. An ultra-wide monitor for the main work, and left single monitor for additional notes or applications. I start the day by checking my calendar for times of scheduled meetings, then my emails. With these done and any tasks associated to them, I'll jump between my email, client support and main development tasks. The cycle repeats until lunch and I'll not generally move, so I'll check in with you later. Danielle 
and Thea are headed out today, so around 11am, Thea helped me in the office while Daniela got dressed. Then, before I know it, it's lunchtime. Lunch for me is brown pasta, chicken and sweet corn. It's not exciting, but it's easy and quick to make. On Mondays, I make my lunches for the week. As Danielle and Thea are away, I eat at my desk, so as I could have a lunch break later when they get back. While they were out, I still had some company in the house. Jarvis has a bed under my desk so as he can keep my feet warm. Sorry, I mean keep close to me. <laughs> She's such a monkey. When they got back, it was time for Thea's lunch. So I joined them for that, then took Thea and managed to get her down for a nap. Which of course means it's time for my second coffee of the day, and back to work. I normally just have an instant coffee at this point. And yes, we reuse our mugs throughout the day. Then that's it. Back to my desk and back to work. Where I try and get as much done as I possibly can before 5 o'clock when I start dinner. I hope you enjoyed this short video of what a day in life is like for me. It's now dinner time. Thea's pressing all the buttons. It's now dinner time so we're going to go have our dinner and enjoy our night together. Maybe make some gingerbread house. Make a gingerbread house. And Thea, it's not a bath night tonight, she's every other night. So she'll be to bed with no bath tonight at about half seven. Between half seven and eight. I'm having chips for dinner so I have vinegar. Anyway, thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Thea, can you say bye? Bye. See ya. See ya. Daddy. Bye. Bye.